Good morning. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own customized flashcards in the basic format and in a Montessori style format. Um, first thing you want to do is, well, let me just say I'm using OpenOffice, which is um, the same type of software as Microsoft Word or WordPerfect. They have the same functions, it just may look different on your software. So I'm going to, uh, hopefully what I'm saying rel uh, it relates to the same software you have. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Format and I'm going to change the page settings from Portrait to Landscape. And what that does is it makes the page longer as opposed to being the traditional up and down way. Secondly, I'm going to choose my font and I'm going to use a basic, it's called ketchup, it's like a juvenile child type of, it looks like child's handwriting. And I'm going to go to my uh, win table option. And in the table option with Open Office, you can visually see how many boxes you want to do, or you can manually type in how many rows and how many columns you want. So I'm just going to do three by three. Then I'm going to highlight all of the boxes, and I'm going to manually go into the font size, and I'm going to put in 150. Usually, the font size in the scroll down doesn't go any higher than 96 so you're going to have to manually type in a larger number and the boxes are going to be about this big then I'm going to highlight them again and I'm going to center the cursor so that every time I go into a box it will automatically center the cursor now if you wanted for this I'm going to show you how to do something like basic numbers but if you wanted to type letters or words within these boxes that are much smaller than the box size you would just change I would change the font and then I would make the cursor smaller and then you can just start typing whatever you want but I'm gonna go back to catch up and then we're gonna go back to the 150 and I'm gonna put in numbers so one two three so on and so forth and in order to get the same size boxes all you have to do is hit the tab button and it will automatically create the same size with the same cursor um, format and everything that you laid out. Now, if you want a Montessori style flashcard where you have the smaller, there's a section that has writing where your child would match the box, the visual with the words. Every other box, you would highlight that whole entire row and you would go and make that row smaller. So for instance, I'm going to change it to 24 go back and type in the words and then down here I would continue with four five six now since this box I'm going to make this box smaller I used um, a size 24 font so I'm going to go to this box and make this a size 24 font and it fits perfectly on the bottom. Sometimes it will still be so large that it will be on the second page so what you might want to do instead of having a font size of 150 you may want to drop it down to like 145 just large enough to still be flashcard size but you can still fit um, this bottom portion of the card con so that it's connected with the card. So then I would then proceed to fill this out so on and so forth and then what I can do is just continue to push tab and then since you left off with a size 24 font it's going to continue to make that size so if you want to do a whole bunch of those you can then take this column make it 150 then go to the next column under that make that font size 150 so that as you're continuing you're already setting up your cards and then you just have to fill in the um, numbers letters or whatever you want to do and then if you want to let's say add an image you would go to insert go to your files whatever clip art you have going on um, on your computer or if you can go online find some pictures clip art of nature or whatever it is that you're doing um, for instance let's say I wanted to put in um, a picture of 
the earth. Right? So, first of all, it totally messed up the, um, it elongated the window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the, on the photo and it, it should say wrap. And I'm going to go wrap through, which means you can pretty much put the photo there or put your picture there and it's not going to mess with the size of your, um, tables, you know, your windows. And then you go and you resize your photo. And then you want to anchor it to the page so it doesn't move all over the place. Then you move on to the next, you know, then you would write whatever you want to put earth or, you know, whatever you're working with, you can add that on to the bottom portion of your card. So this was just a quick video just to show you how you can make your own customized flashcards exactly the way you want them. I know for me, many times, there are so many different resources that I want to incorporate, and I never see exactly what I want online, so I just make it myself. So hopefully this helped you, and um, if this was not as descriptive enough, let me know, and I'll try to explain it the best way I can. Peace.